How to dress sharp when you suffer from gynecomastia, aka man boobs. In today's video, I've got three tips which I know are going to be very useful for those of you guys that want to dress better, dress sharper with more confidence. You ready guys? Let's get into it. Now, gents, if you know somebody that could be suffering from gynecomastia, I would appreciate it if you pass them this video so they can use this information to help build up their confidence. Now, where does gynecomastia come from? For some guys, it's simply, like I said, a hormonal imbalance and they start to develop breasts. Other men are going to be very big, a little bit overweight, and that can lead to it as well. So, multiple ways to deal with this and I'm not going to get into surgery. I'm going to assume that they are trying to dress sharp with the body that they have. Tip number one, look at gynecomastia vests or compression shirts, or you can get a combination of the two. But for me, I really like compression shirts. Compression shirts, the great part here is that they were picked up by the sports field and they said, hey, there's a lot of men that want to wear this to improve their overall performance. Why this is great for those that suffer from gynecomastia is that there's so many more options and they're actually very durable. Don't look on price. I know price is important to a lot of you guys, but look for the material, look for the fit, try a few different brands and look at what stands up to the wash. The thing with a vest or with a compression shirt is you want to wear it whenever you're simply not going to be layered. And I'll talk about clothing items look good and how to put some combinations together that are going to help you, but look at to wear them when you need them and avoid anything that's overly tight. Now, gents, I want to stress again, it's worth spending a little bit of extra money to get something that's made from materials that's breathable and that's incredibly comfortable. You don't want to wear these for longer than eight hours and you're wearing them when you need to. Also, I know some of you guys have resorted to using bandages and straps. Don't do that guys, you can end up hurting yourself. Now let's talk about the different colors, the patterns and the weaves of the fabrics which are going to best suit a man who suffers from gynecomastia. Number one, focus in on dark colors. So, indigo, dark blue, navy, black. Now, why are we going with dark? Because in general, they are going to do the best job concealing curves. They're going to slim you up. They're going to make you look better. Now, when we go over to patterns, what are we looking for here? You do not want to have those horizontal patterns going across. So, you want to avoid checks. You want to avoid just horizontal patterns, but vertical patterns are good. So, lines going up and down. Now, let's talk about actual fabrics. So, you want to avoid knits and you want to go for fabrics that are woven. What's the difference? So, a t-shirt is a knit and that is basically where the fabrics are going together like this. A weave is where they overlace. So, what's an example of a weave? a dress shirt is a weave. So, what's the big takeaway on weaves versus knits? If you suffer from gynecomastia, you want to go with dress shirts and sports jackets versus sweaters and t-shirts. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Shirts, sweaters, Antonio, that's half my wardrobe. What in the world am I going to wear? Don't worry. You can still pull those items off, but you've got to nail the fit. I've talked about this before, gents. Fit is king. Never wear anything that's overly baggy. Why? It just accentuates the curves. Never wear anything that's overly tight. I understand that you like the fit of it, but understand it will accentuate the curves. Instead, you want to go for that happy medium area. Now, guys, I got to stress again the power of the jacket. We're talking sports jackets, blazer jackets, suit jackets that can be worn casually. So, a lot of options there, but denim jackets, leather jackets, there's a wide variety of other types of jackets that you can drape over your shoulders, are going to build up your shoulder area and are going to help to conceal the chest area and basically the excess tissue that you have. Now, I know a lot of you guys are saying, I live in a hot area. There's no way I can pull off a sports jacket. In that case, look to bring in a lightweight vest. Yes, it's still adding a layer, but there are many of them that are made from very lightweight materials. They allow a lot of breathing in and around the armpit and the arm area. You can simply wear a dress shirt underneath, guys. And I can tell you, not only are you going to get compliments, but it's going to, again, help bring it all together and it really does a great job of concealing man boobs. Another option, statement pieces. I'm talking about pieces of clothing that draw attention, that draw the eye where you want it to go. So, you wear a hat like this, people are going to notice the hat. Very functional, especially in hot weather. Now, you, maybe you want to draw their attention right back down to your feet. So, you wear a pair of shoes like this, nice brogue with a suede, blue suede right there, very attention grabbing. You wear a pair of shoes like this, double buckle, beautiful pair of shoes. Going to get compliments. People are going to look at your face. They're going to look down at the shoes. They're not going to focus in on your chest area. 
All right, gentlemen, so now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments. How could I have made this video better? Do you guys have any tips or tricks that you would love to share with the guys out there watching this video? And if you suffer from confidence issues, if you want to be able to master style, I want you to go check out what I've got at realmenrealstyle.com. I'm linking to it down in the description, guys. No matter what you're suffering from, whatever is sapping away your confidence, guys, you want to take a course with me and with some of my guys over at Real Men Real Style, I've got stuff like that because I want to help you become the man you know yourself to be. That's it guys. Take care. See you in the next video.